What's up everybody, a spare one gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. We're starting things off today with the Cage Wing. Um, it's said to be a Scout class ship, however that's about as much as the description said on the workshop file. So we're gonna have to kind of just wing this. Oh well, it's not like we have not a lot of experience doing that or anything. <clears throat> Anyways, so I will note there are a few guns on it, so it doesn't look completely like uh, defenseless or anything like that. I don't know how well armored it is in terms of how much of a beating it could take or anything. Because some of these are classified as like, you know, they're dreadnoughts or something and they can probably take a beating. Looks like we've got collectors on the side here. But I don't see any kind of, like, connectors. I did say collectors, not connectors, right? Yes, we, we have collectors, we don't have connectors. Ugh, that gets confusing. Um, oh, but there's a bridge. I just noticed that. Can I get in here, please? Maybe? Am I stuck? What's going on? That was weird. Oh, I always forget what these panels, the button's actually down here. Oh, how nifty. So I guess, I'm guessing this is some kind of like landing pad, because it's not long enough to be a walkway. So I'm guessing you would land here and then you could offload the stuff from some kind of like mining ship type of thing, maybe? And then this looks like the main entrance here, which I do really like these airlock doors. These are so cool. I wish I could make them work on my build, but I really don't think there's a way to do that. But I, I do intend to use them somewhere, like in bases and stuff, because it's just, it's so much easier to have just a one block doorway. That was, uh, AI block, which I believe doubles as a programmable block, I think. We've got lockers, jump drive, ooh, batteries, I almost missed those. Okay, big vents, wow. All right, now this, oh, this is cool. It's like the storage room, I like it, I like it. Uh, gyroscopes, reactors, conveyor system plugs in up there, that's cool. Got the armory block. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like the decorative storage containers. That adds that extra layer. Uh, this is actually a lot roomier than I expected it, to be honest. Whoa. That was weird. Okay, this is probably that room we saw above the storage room. Which is cool. Some kind of, I'm guessing, like, observatory or control room. Uh, we seem to have found, like, the, maybe, okay, let's go out of our way and say engineering control. Because that's the reactors and jump drives and stuff back there, not really cargo. And then this is all your batteries, so that's what I'm going to go with. And we've got our oxygen tanks and generators back there. Yeah, I picked this. Uh, I picked this one because I like the exterior. I didn't see a whole lot on the interior from the um, the workshop file, uh, but the exterior looked kind of cool. It had that shuttle kind of, almost like a cruise liner or something kind of look, which I thought was neat. Got crew quarters here. I'm guessing the same. Oh, not the same. This is wow. That's different. I don't remember seeing those before. There's some kind of med med bed, I guess. Or desk, maybe? I don't know. That's weird. Those are new. More crew quarters. More crew quarters. This looks like the med bay. So this is the med bay. So I don't know what those other benches were then. Maybe desks. Possibly. Uh, mess hall slash arcade because you know every every ship needs one of those 
uh, bathrooms, and then the bridge. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'd actually picked this one because I liked how the outside looked. It had a pretty sleek plane slash cruise liner kind of look that I thought was kind of cool, but the inside's actually quite roomy. Um, there is, however, I think, one area we didn't look at. Woo! That went a lot faster than I expected. Um, yeah, here it is. I thought I missed a door. So these are like that new nuclear reactor mod thing where you have like the uranium rods type of thing, which is a cool mod. I like that. So I guess... Is there one on this side? I guess that would be like the primary reactors? Maybe? Now one interesting thing... That doesn't look like they feed into each other. But in one... Oh wait, no, it was back here, wasn't it? So there's reactors... Huh. That's interesting. But those don't feed into the ones we saw over there. So these must be backup reactors then, I'm guessing. I don't know. Wee! Epilepsy time. Wow. That jetpack really gets going. So we are in atmosphere here. This was a world save that had, well, the world with it. But... It seems to elevate and stuff pretty fast. So it's actually a pretty nimble ship, I guess. We're already at 100 um, meters per second. Now the gyroscope turning is a little on the sluggish side. But the, th the thrusters and stuff, I mean, you can get up and go pretty quick. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll wrap this one up. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have the Saberoid 2, and now the title says Atmospheric Destroyer, but I did not load in a planet on this world, so I don't know if we'll actually be able to test out its movement at all, because I didn't realize that until I'd already set it up, and I don't see anything except the atmospheric thrusters, so I'm kind of guessing, since atmospheric is in the name, probably designed to be an atmospheric ship. Just hypothetical. Probably gonna go with that. Um, but it looked really cool. It had a it had a pretty cool. I like the. Um, I guess I don't know if that's really a pincer, but like the fang type look on the front. I thought that was pretty neat. And it's supposed to be a ship hunter type of ship, basically. Um, a light, fast attack cruiser kind of thing. Not really designed for taking a beating. Oh yeah, we're probably not going to have any gravity either. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. And no gravity here. Oxygen's high though. At least there's that. Yep. Nope. Okay. So we're not going to turn off our jetpacks on this one. So this is interesting. We've got batteries. I guess it doesn't need to be airtight since if it's designed to be a planetary ship you would have oxygen I think though I'm not entirely sure about that um why can't it move what the heck oh I guess I got stuck in the turbine there that's a bad place to be um the reason I don't know about the airtight stuff is because technically you could be on a planet. No, well, no, that wouldn't be atmospheric. I was going to say you could be on a moon or something, but that wouldn't be an atmosphere then. So yeah, I guess it doesn't really have to be. So we have all of our readouts there. Oop. Let's go this way. Come on. Over the rail. Thank you. And let's see. Then we have another oxygen tank readout here. Which, I guess if it has oxygen tanks, it's probably... It's some, some parts of the ship must be sealed then. And we've been getting pushed and pulled back and forth, so that would only make sense. Uh, let's see here. 
We have some displays and stuffs, which is cool. Um, and then this must be the main bridge, or the main um, flight control share, I guess. Let's see. Oh, wait. No. Oh, that's weird. That's odd. It's like a passenger seat, so it's not wanting to let me look outside. That's kind of funky. Oh, and there's a rotor or something? What's going on here? Oh, there's a remote block. Okay, so you must fly it from the remote block then. Oh, I see. This was in the description it mentioned, or in the comments below the description. It mentioned um, using a large rotor base and then a small rotor head in order to bridge the gap and make a small ship grid here for the bridge. Okay, I didn't know what it was referring to in the description, but I guess that's what it's talking about. Okay, so... How does one fly the ship? I don't think I'm finding the right chair. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Unless that's... I'm pretty sure that's the only place we can go because this, unlike the last one, this one doesn't have much of an interior. It's kind of funny. I actually thought this one would have more of an interior and it actually seems to have less. Which is kind of ironic when you think about it. Um... So I don't really know why you can't fly it from there. Oh, here we go. What's this? Okay, we've got main camera, port, starboard, rear, thrusters on and off. Oh, it does have hydrogen thrusters. Okay. So, it may not be designed to, but we can actually fly it. Rotating camera, rotor, and then that's it for that one. Does that one have anything? No. How about you? You have anything? No. This one's the same. And now I can actually view it. Okay. But it doesn't seem... Oh! Alright. It has hydrogen on the bottom for extra lift. Okay. I was thinking it had them all over. And I'm not seeing... The dampeners are on, but it doesn't have any thrusters pointed in that direction, and none of them are working, so... I didn't think atmospheric thrusters worked outside the ship, but it was worth a shot. Alright, um, now, one thing I'd like to know is how do I use the turret? Oh, is this the turret? Rotating camera. Wait a minute. Why do I feel like this is not the control I'm looking for? I think I'm just moving the whole ship when I do that, aren't I? Rotating camera. Hmm, that's interesting. There is a remote block. Let's just try that. Let's see if I can take control that way. Okay, here we go. Now we're flying the ship. That's better. So I like the turning radius on it. Obviously, like I said, we can't really check the thrusters because I don't have the um, the atmosphere needed. But I like the gyroscope responsiveness. So I'm imagining the thrusters are pretty good because it's supposed to be a fast and light attack cruiser type thing. I don't see the weapon systems anywhere, though. Which is odd to me. And I can't fire them. Oh wait, there it goes. Okay. And are those just connectors? or I guess they're just connectors. I thought they were hinges to where you could rotate them and stuff, but I guess it's just the connectors. that Or conveyors, excuse me. Conveyors. Alright. 
So I think that's going to wrap this one up, and now we're going to move on to the last one. Okay, and last but oh so certainly not least is the Eclipse Interplanetary Sailing Vessel. I thought this was a really cool idea. Um, I had, uh, for those of you that remember way back when, I'd actually tried to do a Black Pearl build uh, when Space Engineers was kind of a new game type of thing. It really hadn't, didn't even have the blocks that it had. Um, and I actually did the uh, sails out of just white metal plates, I think, and I never even thought to use projectors as sails, but it's such a cool idea. They even have, um, I don't know how you switch them, but they even have uh, multiple sail colors and there's like a template where you could make your own. Really, really cool idea. Um, as well as other mods and things. Now, it is important to note one thing. I added all of the mods that it listed for the blueprint, but every time I loaded this, it kept telling me there was something missing and it might break stuff. So, if there's missing things and it's broken, not my fault, um, the, the rest of it wasn't listed. <clears throat> so, let's move on. Now, this is kind of interesting. I, I don't fully understand why there's vents out here in the open, and I really don't understand why it's showing up green and not, like, there's no environment, because that's... Oh, not pressurized. Okay, there it goes. I was like, that's weird. But really, really cool design. Um, the added mods and stuff help a lot. I do like these little life rafts, too. Or, no, excuse me, not life rafts. They're rowboats. R-O-W acronym, which I thought was a really cool idea. Um, I guess they're supposed to be for, like, if you want to leave the ship outside the atmosphere and then take these down or something, or, you know, something to that effect. Anytime you, you kind of like actual rowboats in real life, it was, you know, anytime you needed to disembark. Um, the mass are also, they also have hydrogen thrusters. I'm going to turn my headlamps on. They also have hydrogen thrusters in them, uh, for extra pushing power, I guess. Extra oomph, if you will. So, that's pretty cool. They're off at the moment, and it also has, I believe they said 20 broadside cannons on the right and the left. Uh, 10 on each side. Oh, and they use, uh, <laughs> that's cool. They use the hangar door as a, as a plank. That is freaking awesome. I love that. I love it. So yeah, this is a really, really well done build. This probably looks like something was missing. This looks like there should be something here. Maybe... Yeah, there definitely should be something here. Because there's conveyor blocks that are connected. Oh! Oh, that's not cool! I don't have any guns! I'm missing the guns! What happened? I swear I included all the things that the blueprint said. Everything. Don't know what happened. Not my fault. Somebody left out mods, I guess. I don't know. Um, I do like this thing, too. This is an actual... I guess it's an actual... considered a cockpit. Especially given the way that he's posing here, which is kind of funny looking. Um, but you can control the ship that way, which is cool. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this. No, I'm not. I meant to do that. Totally did not mean to pressurize the room or anything. And here it looks like, what, captain's cabin, maybe? Or war room? Or map planning? No, nope, captain's cabin. Definitely captain's cabin. I just didn't realize that was all part of one room. Cool. Cool, cool. I love the view. That would be a cool view on a planet or something to have the big screen out the back. Or not screen. Windows. What am I talking about? Just interpret my words. You know what I mean. A second helm. Now that's cool. That's more like a modern ship, is rather than being like right out on the deck, it's actually like secured. That's kind of cool. Um, what goes down here? Anything? Anything down there? Oh, there's stairs for that. Okay. So we got all of our tech stuff. Uh, it's kind of hidden. It's like, ah, sailing ship. Hide the computers. It's not a technical ship at all. 
But yeah, I really like this. This is a cool this is a cool idea. It's definitely an improvement on what I attempted to do in my own series, though admittedly that was before they even had like mods and stuff for the game. It would probably be fun to go back and try and actually build um, another ship like this, knowing all the different expanded functionalities that mods can bring. So here's our crew quarters. And the mess hall, looks like. Or, wait, 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 what is it on a ship? Is it a galley? I think? The galley? I think that's the... Is the galley the kitchen? Or is that where you eat? I don't remember. I can't remember. I remember a lot of naval terms, and then I get them mixed up as to what they actually mean. We got bathrooms, which arguably are far and away way super nice. Way more nice. Way nicer is the word I was looking for than what it would have been on an actual sailing ship. Which equates to probably being a bucket. Um, I don't know why this beam here is being run by a projector. That's kind of strange. But like I said, with missing mods, I never really know what we missed. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this has something to do with the Azimuth Complete pack, which is what the blueprint said to use, but I'm kind of thinking there's a specific azimuth weapon mod you might have needed. Maybe? I don't really know, because I saw azimuth thrusters, though, so that might have been what that pack was for. But, definitely missing the cannons, which kind of stinks, because I really wanted to fire those and see what it looked like to have a whole deck gun barrage thing. And this is definitely not supposed to be here. Or at least I wouldn't think so. That looks like it's also missing something. We got our jump drives and our timer blocks here. What the timer blocks are running, I do not know. It would be a little weird, though, to see a ship like this and then see it take the, like, jump hyperdrive type of thing. That would be a little odd. Oops. It's like, they're crippled, Captain. We've destroyed the mast and the sails. Wait, why are they jumping away? Now they're gone. What the heck was that ship? It's the Flying Dutchman. Um, down here looks like our oxygen tanks and generators, along with the general conveyor system and reactors, which is all well and good. There's a connector there, though I don't really know for what. It's not like you could fit a ship in there. Oh, there's also refineries down here, too, and assemblers. And there's two of the projectors. Now, I don't know if they have it set up to where you can switch sails by switching projectors, or if it's actually what blueprint is loaded into the projector. I think it's what's loaded in, and then you can switch. But I thought that was a really, 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 really in innovative idea to have your sails be projected, and then like a blank template thing to where you could actually change what kind of sail you had. I thought that was a really cool touch. Alright, we're not gonna vent everything, but we're totally gonna vent this for some reason. It always ends up doing that to me. I don't know why. I close and shut the doors just like an airlock, but I get blown out anyway. I think it's from residual whatever's left in the room. Alright, so we can't test the weapons for obvious absence reasons. And I didn't notice the solar panels on there, but that's pretty cool too. Uh, we don't have any hot bars set up. Oh well. So let's test out and see how this ship actually moves. Speed's not bad. I mean, all things considered, it is supposed to be a giant sailing boat, so... Ship! Ship. Excuse me. Um, yeah, the thrust isn't too bad. It takes it a minute to get up to speed, but the actual impressive part to me is the gyroscope responsiveness. That's moving a lot smoother than I expected. I thought you'd have to do a little bit more to get them to move, but it's actually working pretty good. So there's that. I did want to 
I really wanted to test the weapons, but I think that's what's actually absent, so I don't think... Because it mentioned there should be the side guns, the broadside cannons, but then I'm thinking what these are here is I think there was supposed to be cannons here, and then there's supposed to be like Gatling turrets or something somewhere for small things, but I don't see any of that, so I'm guessing whatever is absent was just not listed on the blueprint thing, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I never know with me, so. Uh, but with that in mind, I think we're going to wrap things up for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!